Can you talk a little bit about the food you brought for us today? Yes, absolutely. So like we have our uh, pad thai zoodles here. Who likes pad thai? Yeah, who doesn't like pad thai? Mm. But here's the problem with pad thai. It is loaded with fat and calories. That's something that you're gonna eat every once in a while when you have that cheat moment. But what we've done is we've taken zucchini and turned it into noodles. That's why there's zoodles. <laughs> and I love using a base like that, but if you get the flavor and the spices involved in there, yeah. you're getting mm -hmm. satisfied and you're getting full. Um, we also have uh, our Hawaiian pizza here. Who doesn't love pizza? But how do you make a pizza that's gonna be great for you and stay on the Dubrow diet? I like the cauliflower crusts. Mm -hmm. You yeah, can make cauliflower your crust is it's becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. Even you have bought into it. Mm -hmm. And this is actually really tasty. Yeah, they're so. great. You're doing the Hawaiian style, but you can use whatever topping you want, correct? Absolutely. This is just one idea to do it. But but the point is, is that the cauliflower crust is where you're getting all these incredible nutrients and you're not having all the carbs. And it still is crispy and crunchy and you feel like you're eating something a little decadent. And for dessert, mm -hmm. I like Greek yogurt. It's Greek yogurt, walnuts, and honey. Honey has what we call a low glycemic index. It doesn't make you make as much insulin. It's all about trying to keep your insulin levels low. If your insulin levels are low, you won't make fat, you'll break up your fat, and it's a much better way, it's much sweeter than regular sugar. Well, that's good brain food, right? Very, very, very good, good brain. brain food. And I'm assuming you guys are on board with the sweeten something with a natural, real sweetener like honey as opposed to the fake stuff that so many people love. Exactly. Exactly, and honestly, honey is sweeter, so you need less. Yeah, no, this is really decadent, even now, though it's quite healthy, so right. it's tasty. It's Let's, cocktail. Uh-oh, uh -oh, I, I know what, this, I know what this time is it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. Okay, <laughs> so this is a watermelon, so there's a splash of watermelon. You could do a splash of grapefruit. Uh, I, so when, you, a splash of the, the watermelon juice or actual, yes. okay. A splash yeah. of the watermelon juice and what I like to do when I'm out at a restaurant is order it on the side so I get a little side of it just so you can put a little splash in there to get the flavor of it but not have all the calories and sugar mm -hmm. now where does exercise fit into your plan we're very into uh, high intensity interval training yeah. short periods of intense exercise and we believe you burn the most amount of fat if you do it during your non eating intervals yeah. we call it cardio fasting mm -hmm. so it may sound counterintuitive that you're sort of doing high intensity training when you have no food in your stomach you burn fat much more when you're doing it like that and it's it's intense short periods of exercise so anyone can do it Heather and Terry Dubrow's book it's called the Dubrow diet interval eating to lose weight and feel ageless it's out and available where books are sold and everyone in the audience is going home with a copy Heather and Terry, thanks so much for coming by. I really yeah. appreciate it. You can find the recipes as well as more information on the book on our website, thedoctorstv.com.